<laughs> He's just running sideways on the train. How the heck did they paint him out of that shot? <laughs> oh man, yes! I do, if I have one critique. What's to, the one, to, what's the one, Ren? Thanks to Roan for sponsoring this video. Stick around to the end to see how you can get a discount on your first purchase. Guys, welcome back to another very exciting episode of VFX Artist React. And guys, today is very special because it's Bollywood 3. We are filming this episode on the brink of quarantine. <laughs> That's right, guys. <clears throat> We're renaming this channel to Stop Quarantine Crew. <laughs> <laughs> We're going out on a limb for you guys. We're sitting six, less than six inches apart from each other just for you. We're gonna be watching some great stuff here today. This is Bollywood, guys. Not only not only is this Bollywood, it's Hollywood. Jollywood and Tollywood, all the woods. Is Jollywood real? I think so. So regardless, guys, stay healthy, stay safe, and let's enjoy some Bollywood clips here. Yeah. Oh, there's the fly. There is the fly. Dude, I wonder oh if he said- Oh my goodness, is the fly gonna kick his butt? Oh, that fly's gonna turn the needle up and he's gonna stab himself he's, in the he's foot. He's gonna flip, he's gonna flip this dude. He's gonna kill him with his bare feet! He's when gonna flip the needle up. He's gonna flip the needle up. No! Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my what? goodness, the fly's gonna matrix dodge the bullet. What is dude? Now I just hear like Trinity! <laughs> Help! Oh, he just killed the power with that bullet. Of course, of course. <laughs> I think I had that toy as a kid. Spy gear night goggles. See seven meters away in the dark with high tech goggles. Spy gear. Spy like a pro. <laughs> oh, oh my God! What was he shooting out of that shotgun? Don't make me blow up my favorite figurine. No, Grandma figurine. gave that to me. Look at all these phantom fly. shots, though. I mean, this is pretty cool. Some pretty cool slow mo. Flies. <gasps> the cannon. They set it up. They, they did. They set, set it up. Kekov's cannon. Ooh, that's a dust wave. That was that was a dust wave that should not have been as transparent as it was. Why? That's the problem when you when you're trying to composite like dust and smoke is that you might be tempted just to lower the opacity to make it more transparent, but if you have a big smoke plume, it's opaque. And what they're using here is one of those big volumetric smoke things, and it should be opaque, but they've lowered the transparency so that you can see through it and see the thing actually falling. But you know what? I bet you some guy did that shot in a couple hours. Yeah. Usually when a, an effect starts looking kind of weak like that, it's because they didn't have much time to do it. Come on. Yeah. I really wish more Hollywood movies had gun effects like this. Like, as in like practical, like tons of explosives, tons of sparks. It's well done. What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? Okay, what's the plan on this? Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! god. It, it, it knows! Wow. It had a plan B! Don't underestimate this fly. Oh, oh my god! He had so many plans! Oh, he can't see which is the real he fly! <laughs> Freaking enter the dragon. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what just the what CG is like so obviously CG, but I don't care. Oh, he's gonna launch himself. Is that gunpowder? He's gonna sacrifice himself. He knows what he knows what to do. The, the ultimate sacrifice. Oh, he's revving up! <laughs> he's doing it! <laughs> he's gonna take them all out with him! The cannon, they set it up! They set it up! It's Little like, did you know! His legs did you know! Oh my goodness! <gasps> Dude, it's like his eyes are shutting. Oh 
Oh my goodness! Is that the fly? fly in the <laughs> Man. Dude. What a movie. Good job, fly movie. It's gonna go into like a locket. She's gonna keep it forever. Put it in your locket. <laughs> she put it in a locket! <laughs> oh man! Yes! Yes! Here's the thing, I think we're all in agreement that this is incredible. This is like one of the greatest things ever. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think the animation was that bad. It did what it was trying to do. Right. I feel like the motion blur is kind of all over the place. There are a lot of shots where there's no motion blur. Like, look at the leg right oh, there. Yeah. You see the leg move, it just like Stop motion. snaps into place. There's also the whole depth of field thing. When you're filming stuff that's small, like your depth of field is very, very, very shallow. Yeah, and the entirety of the fly is in focus where, like, like you say, the depth of field should be just a part of the fly. And that's actually something they did really well on the movie Ant-Man. Yeah. The CG rendering aside, their shot selection is actually really good. Literally an animator had to sit there and be like, how do I communicate that this fly is struggling to save this woman? <laughs> like, with fly body language. Yeah. And they did it. They did it. Like, that stuff is really, really cool. And that's, that's artistry right there. That's exactly, true yeah. artistry. If you found the corners of your mouth curl up into a smile while watching this video, <laughs> then please subscribe. We do this, like, every week. So in the last Bollywood episode, we talked about a movie called Zero, which had some effects that kind of blew our minds. It's Not like kind of. Super, they like, actually really well blew our minds. Yeah, like <laughs> I had to go scoop up my brains and put them back in. Yep. Well, the VFX house that actually did those effects saw the episode, and they ended up actually releasing a bigger breakdown for that show. This, this is a movie about a little person who is very well off, and they're trying to find themselves. He's actually 5'7", and... In the movie, he's 4'8". But, 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 but that doesn't make sense, though. Like, what... But how is he... Like, it's not just him being shorter. He's, like, scaled. Yeah, so this! Look, look at that! Look at that! He up his arms! <laughs> like, oh, yeah, just casually. Like, by the way, also... <laughs> look at her. They scaled her hands back up. You saw her hands This is, like, larger? this is frame-by-frame frame Photoshop manipulation style stuff for that. It hurts it's so really? bad. Doesn't this hurt? Dude, look at those arms, look at the freaking... They readjusted those guys' arms. They have some people that really understand human anatomy working on this team. Oh my yeah, god. To just kidding, shrink right? things, but to shrink them correctly. What so take I, are they using for that? Oh. I think they're using all the takes and different pieces of it, so it's like they're able to merge different parts of each take together. They put CG feet on him? Yes. Yes. What? Those legs look photo real. When you're painting something out, and you have a hand-sized hole that you need to replace. You need that information. Okay, how the heck did they paint him out of that shot? What? <laughs> it's like you're showing your cards right now, but your cards are so high level that it still hurts my head. It's like showing me a magic trick. It's like, the solution is actual magic. <laughs> <laughs> Like that right there, they have to replace all of his hair so that it's interacting with the bird here. That's a CG bird? I guess it makes sense. Man, that's a really good looking CG bird. This is insane. Yeah. Like the amount of work going into this, just make a dude short. <laughs> and meanwhile, there's short actors out there being like, what the hell? <laughs> They've we... done that before with Curious Case of Benjamin Button. It's kind of the similar... Well, I mean, the case requires somebody to age in reverse. Just part of the but story. my point is that it required a lot of detailed photorealistic effects on an actor to make them completely not who they were. The industry, they approve projects based on who the lead actor is. I think your point is valid because there's all of this effort going in when it's like the easier and far cheaper route would just be to cast a smaller actor. I do, if I have one critique, What's to, the one, to, what's the one, Ren? It's that final splash down in the water. Oh, God. The thing hits the water, it's like, dude, 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 dude. Boom! And the water just goes, kabam, out of there. <laughs> you are kind of right. Once again, hats off to the Red Chili's VFX team. We're, we're still blown away. All you've done is impress us more. Like, my jaw was here, and then now it's like, we had to like sew it back in. So Shah Rukh Khan is a very, very famous actor in India. We got a lot of comments from you guys asking about Raw 1, which also stars Shah Rukh Khan. Oh, does it? All right. So let's take a look. Oh, that was
was cool. Okay. That okay. was cool. Yeah, that was, that was smooth. I mean, this is Bollywood. It's not like we're looking at inertia or physics. That's true. Looks like CG, okay, yeah, CG, CG train, train. CG train to act as the wall. He's like jumping onto the actual platform, but with like a crash pad down below, it looks like. The camera continues out on a dolly. And that's a hidden cut right there to a new element to him just leaping. Mm-hmm. Uh, looks like green screen. That's probably all full CG at that point. The train on the left is CG. The train on the right is real. It's a plate of pushing in on the train on the right, a green screen element of the guy jumping, and then a CG train on the left continuing along its own train tracks. Kids, don't try this at home. Not at all. Get my mic up. Dude, who is this man? What were they doing? <laughs> what were they wait, doing? Wait. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Did they lose their ball? <laughs> <gasps> like that looks like it might be real. Like they might have a dude on a wire. <laughs> He's just running sideways on the train. Why, Why did he, he just do that, do that the whole time? Yeah. He had to power up his meter before he could use it. That makes the most sense, actually. What now? Get back on that train, buddy. He's lo look at all that progress you're losing. Oh, he has magic powers? Of course. She looks very sure of herself. <laughs> she doesn't look so sure of herself now. <laughs> A little bit of icy hot on that headache. Oh, is it gonna come Here busting go. through? Here we go. Yes. Here we go. Yes. Look at them cracks. Those are those are pretty decent cracks showing yes. up though. Yeah, and the dust falling out yeah. through them. Where's that train? Yeah, there it is. Oh Give me that train. Ah! Pretty solid CG mile they built there. Oh, that yeah, that, that little taxi that just got hit, that was a very real looking taxi, apart from the animation. Man, those VFX sure look sharp. You know what also looks sharp, Bren? Your shirt. Oh, thanks, Nico. So this is from our sponsor today, Roan, and they make something for the modern man, regardless of the occasion. So all my other dress shirts have one thing in common in that they're not like comfortable and stretchy like this. Like, look at this, you ready? Ready? Dude, I want a sweet shirt like that. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I want a sweet shirt too. Well, you guys are both in luck. <laughs> no, but like for real though, open them up and see how stretchy they are. They're breathable too. Wow. It is really stretchy. Yeah. It's almost like a workout dress shirt. I mean, it is their commuter collection. Roan's commuter collection is the performance alternative to the everyday workwear. Everything from pants to polos, shorts, and shirts are lightweight, comfortable, and wrinkle-free. They make stuff specifically for, you know, the office or, you know, long flights. You know, anything that's nice, but also very comfortable. I can already vouch. Super comfy. So while these guys are actually changing, you can get your own shirt by going to roan.com slash corridor crew and by using the promo code corridor crew to get 20% off your first purchase. What do you think, guys? This is so comfy. You know, I used to have a rule. Don't put a pair of pants on me unless they stretch, unless I can do like the splits in them. I think the same is true for the shirts now, so feeling pretty good. Anyway, guys, link in the description. Check it all out. Thank you for watching today's Bollywood episode number three. I'm sure we'll have another fourth one if you leave enough comments suggesting things for us to look at. Also, check out our midweek videos where we talk about our life during the quarantine. Dude, I put a Nerf gun on a drone. Stay safe out there, guys. Stay healthy. And honestly, you guys can probably catch up on a whole bunch of good movies that you've never seen before. No, you. <laughs> oh, you. me? Yeah, me. <laughs> I've seen a lot of great movies. You know, I need someone to tally up all the movies that we watch in a video that Clint has not seen. Tally uh, it up as a total. I can tally it up right now. It's all the Avengers movies. It's all the Marvel movies besides the early Iron Mans. I'm not going to say what movie Dean hasn't seen because it's going to embarrass him completely. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, all of us hadn't seen some good movies, okay?